All right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> the next, <laughs> next army, <laughs> we got HDR, the Dark, the Dark Oath and shit, you know what I'm saying? So here we got the Dark Oath Chieftain on Warsteed. This dude comes with all the head you need. And I mean, he got all the head he needs. Look at that. Heads everywhere. I I went with the with this weapon out out outlet. I mean you know option because it reminded me more of what a um, a fantasy Vikingish looking um, warrior chieftain would would have. You know, I I, I don't think uh, many will have swords Vikingess. You know what I'm saying? Like the King Arthur movies. I thought I thought that was pretty sick. So. Yeah, the King Arthur one, the, the, the newest, uh, not the one with the guy from, um, um, Sons of Honor Keep It, though, before, the one before that. I thought that was pretty sick. So, there's the Chieftain right there. Alright, alright, now we got the, um, the Dark Old Wil Wilder, Wilder Fiend. I guess this is what happens when you don't, uh, when you don't keep it real, when you don't fulfill your shit, dog, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm glad they went this route. I'm glad they didn't go all warp, warp fiend spawn, bursting out your fucking limbs and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like the old fucking lead model. That thing was a clusterfuck of flesh. This is more like a wilderness type of thing right here. I dig this. I really dig this right here. This model, I, I, yeah, I couldn't help myself. I watched, uh, I was a war hipster. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to paint it like he did. Uh, so, like I said, war hipster is a good tutorial. Now, let's look at the, uh, the troops. Uh, there's 20. Uh, I, I, again, with these guys, I uh, we went with all the options. 10 man spears, 10 man uh, swords and axes. Um, uh, yeah, I love these models. Um, it's funny, the Toby Chick is the uh, the standard bearer. It's all good though, shit. She puts in the work, she puts in the work. These guys are pretty cool. Can I get it good? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? There you go pretty cool so yeah we we did every option on the extractions head wise and uh yeah i, I like this one this kind of has a uh reminds can i get it can i get it reminds me like a red a red sonia vibe it's a, it's a dude oh you can't really see it's a dude but it, it reminds me of red sonia for some reason but you get 20 dudes two ten men here are these guys right, right right here uh all the shields are pretty cool that uh you have some that have ornaments on them and some are you are just plain you know so you get those 10 and then the other 10 i went with the axes and the and the spears and another chubby chick The, the poses or the poses have a lot of action to them. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the fact that you that they reuse the pose for the other weapon options it's pretty clever how they uh, how they have it uh, set up. But so those are those guys right here. Um. This, these, these, uh, I'm gonna give these, uh, so far, you know, the whole army box is a, it's a nine. I, I just, I just thought, um, I just thought there's probably like one thing missing or something, uh, but then I started thinking, uh, probably not because they don't have, uh, vehicles per se, cannons, uh, artillery, artillery pieces. You know, these are nomadic people and shit, you know? So... 
the army box is worth it. The the the, the contents were worth it. The the pulses is worth it. These guys are yes. It's gonna be a nice uh nice journey to see what other models we we will get. Cause uh there's a bunch of war cries. If they took out the war cry ones and shit. Mo a lot of the war cry one war bands. With the fell riders, I think the fell riders are pretty sick too. You can see this guy. I I I went with the I went with the uh, with the spear. I went with the spear on these guys. I went with the uh, musician. I thought he's pretty cool. I like the little end on the tip of the the horse. They got this weird looking head mouthpiece. It's like a terror tactic kind of thing to me. You know, like freak out your uh, your opponent by making yourself look scary. Here we got the uh, the standard. Pretty sick. It's not a chubby chick, but it's pretty cool. I love it. Uh, here's the champion. It's funny how the champions always have the the long hair, per se. I still love it. I still love it. So you get five horse riders, ten troops, wilder, wilder beast, and a boss. I gotta, I gotta have a better setup for you guys next time. I promise. But uh, I just really wanted to uh, make this video after so many days, you know. <laughs> So as you can see right there, that is the army box. That's the, the star collect. Well, I guess it's start collecting. It was worth every penny. I don't know. Just feel something. I feel like something's missing. Like another character would have been dope. Like you know, like like a shaman maybe, or uh, an exalted champion. You know, someone who's inspired to take the place. You know, but we are going to build up on this army. The um, I'm sure I'm sure there's going to be a bunch more stuff coming up for this army. So I, I I can't wait on that one. So I'm honestly going to just give this one a ten because the detail is is is, is amazing. The the action poses is amazing. I love the word wilder fiend, uh, and I like the uh, the. I'm, I'm gonna give it a 10. Just looking at it from back here like this, dude, I, I, this army has potential, is is awesome, the detail, fun to put together, um, if you can get this box, just fucking get it. I mean, it's not that many, it's like, what, one, two, three, four cards in there, you get your tokens and shit, your little supplement book. Um, yeah. So next, what I'm gonna show you guys next, is the Vanguard. Oh shit, I didn't know I had to tilt it to the side the whole time I'm talking, man. My bad. Alright, let's let's get to the next uh the next one. Alright, so let's continue with the Vanguard. Um These guys usually originally come in came in the three. They were like a hundred bucks. So I am very happy that I was able to catch three of these uh in the uh, Dumbbringer box because the shop normally doesn't uh, sell these. Um, oh, I got the I, I got all the shields on the on the bottom. So I went with these options on these. Um, I th I thought these was a great these are great fucking scopes. The the heads are that I chose I thought are pretty sick. Um, the weapons were these I believe were like what the regular undivided, and then they have one specific chaos got weapon and then they had the the pole uh, spear thingies 
which um, I loved, but <laughs> when I get three more, I will do that option and I will use uh, different heads. It's just, it's just the main body will be the same when we're, you, and then I, I'll be able to change the heads to the, you know what I'm saying? But I wish there was different options for head wise. Or or the or you had two more different scopes that would be a five total instead of three, but overall these guys are fucking amazing. Uh, they're just fucking wicked looking. They're just the whole evil. I dropped the shield. Here it is. I left the shields off because it would be easier for me to paint them. So, ah, oh man. I, I don't even know where to start with these, man. I didn't put the main uh, pointy ones because I didn't want to stab myself just yet. So, um, look at that hammer. Look at that hammer. It's, 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 come on, it's focus. One day I'm have a better camera, man. I just I just needed to shoot something. I wanted you guys to see something. Um, if I could make some some of you laugh, we're going through some shit, you know. That's what I'm here for, man. I'm going through some shit myself. So overall, his is ten for detail. It takes some time to put this together. You're gonna to do it right. Um, this is ten platinum, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the only thing I wish you had five, five in total, but you only get three. Uh, these bad boys, man. I I gotta get Archeon. I gotta get three more so they they have. He'll have a, a six man uh squad of a uh, guard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, this is this is what you want to. This is what you want to strive for when you're in the um, Iron Glad Regiment. Uh. Chaos Knights and shit, you know what I'm saying? You want to be Archeon's fucking uh, legion of fucking bodyguards. Oh, I forgot to uh, I forgot to mention. The Dark Olds are part of my main uh, Slave in Darkness, the Iron Glad Warband. These, those guys were just uh, working on getting their armor, you know what I'm saying? And the Iron Glad are like the the veteranos like the the older uncles and fathers you know what i'm saying and then the writers or you know they're elder you know what i'm saying it's all like uh it's all order in this war band and shit you know um i, I this is a story it's a story dude like it's a family you know and they're you know it, it's a Little infighting and shit. Uh, who's gonna be the the main? You know, it's always infighting, like Game of Thrones type of shit. But um, I I, I can't I can't wait to see what the uh, December army boxes are gonna be, and if they do release one for uh, Slave to Darkness, I really hope they throw in one of these another another set of three of these. I am gonna try to get the um. Um, the special edition are, uh, army starter box. I'm gonna collect every single starter army box from uh, that came out during the uh, domain and on forward. Uh, like I said, I'm on this uh, Age of Sigmar thing because uh, I'm disappointed in Warhammer right now, 40k with the uh, shit miniatures and it's it's your 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 money right now is in Age of Sigmar. Which I'm trying to make it into like fantasy wise at the end. So that's a, that, that's for these guys. And the next one, I fucked up the uh, unboxing and spur review. So I'm just gonna show you the build of this uh, awesome character that I had for a while. And yeah, I'll be right back.